Hi, I'm Donna Cohen, one of the directors of Meerkat Proprietary Limited. This brief video provides an introduction to our flagship online application, Meerkat, with a particular focus on how it can be used to drive genuine quality improvement in the healthcare sector. The unfortunate reality is that if you or a member of your family has to go to hospital, there's a serious possibility, roughly one in 10, that you'll experience an adverse event while you're there. But the worst aspect of that statistic is that about half of all adverse events recorded in Australian hospitals are likely to be preventable. And what's particularly concerning is that the quality and safety movement in the Australian healthcare system actually started more than 20 years ago. And yet every few years, another report is written detailing exactly the same issues. And the response? Well, it's basically just more of the same. New indicators, different reporting frameworks, beefed up accreditation regimes, changes to governance. And you know, while these things are important and there has been some progress, the problems seem to persist. Indeed, quality has become focused on compliance rather than on identifying opportunities for genuine improvement. The result is that frontline staff aren't properly engaged or engaged at all. Small issues go undetected until they become major problems and the organization still expends resources on quality but doesn't see much lasting benefit. In fact, current approaches to quality improvement tend to be reactive to incidents and problems. An adverse event occurs and a quality project is set up in response to try to identify and address the underlying causes. Unfortunately, each adverse event that triggers a quality project has already negatively impacted on a patient perhaps even lengthening their hospital stay, causing permanent impairment, or maybe even death. Wouldn't it be great if there were a more proactive and preventative approach to quality? If latent safety threats and sources of protocol variants could be identified and then addressed through quality projects before they result in adverse events, thereby potentially preventing avoidable patient harm. Actually, there is an approach that does this, it's called Meerkat. Meerkat is a cloud-based application that uses process maps to provide structure to team-based conversations in which routine practices are assessed. During the assessment sessions, process pathways presented in interactive graphical maps are used to capture information about how well each component of the pathway is being undertaken. This assessment tool is seamlessly integrated into action planning and reporting tools within Meerkat. Here's an example of a Meerkat map, which is called a base map. This one is for patient identification and procedure matching in hospitals, which corresponds to version 1, the National Quality and Safety Standard number 5. As you can see from the legend, the color-coded rectangles, called nodes, show the inputs, activities, outputs and outcomes by which a health service would achieve the objectives of the standard. The team conducting its assessment against Standard 5 would have this map projected on the wall. Clicking a node opens a dialog box, which is designed to lead the team through a structured conversation about how well that particular item is being achieved. This node, as you can see, is an input, in this case, health service policies on patient ID, with more information about the input, as well as a rating question, revealed here. There's a rating scale on the card, which the group uses as they discuss how they experience this input, both individually and as a team. The interface is clickable, which allows them to register their individual ratings on the card. They can also add comments and attach documents. When the discussion is finished, they click Next and decide on a consensus rating for the node. Then they move to the final step, where they consider if this node should be included in their action plan. The tool makes a suggestion about this based on the polled ratings and the consensus rating, but the team is able to override the suggestion. When they click Done, an icon appears in the top right corner reflecting the consensus rating given by the team. In this case, because the consensus rating was either average or below average, 
the icon is an orange hazard sign, whereas an above average consensus rating would produce a purple tick. When all nodes in the base map have been rated, the team has an instant snapshot of where problem areas exist. In the Kanban style action planning tool, nodes tagged for inclusion appear as cards in the to-do column. Teams can nominate tasks to address the problems and assign tasks to individuals. Cards can be dragged to the in-progress column when work gets underway, individual tasks can be marked off when completed, and when all tasks on a card are completed, the card can be dragged into the done column. In terms of accountability and reporting, the tool allows the team to produce a node-by-node -node summary report on their assessment and if they repeat the assessment in a few months' time, they can compare the later assessment to the earlier one. If other clinical units within the hospital assess themselves against the same base map, there's a report that compares the results between units, which is useful in distinguishing local issues that require local solutions from more widespread issues that might require an organization-wide solution. Now, while the Meerkat application can be used to assess any business process or program, it's likely to be particularly useful in service-based sectors such as health and aged care. Indeed, the philosophy and design of the Meerkat application are consistent with current thinking on the importance of managing human factors in reducing avoidable patient harm. So here at Meerkat, we've created a suite of base maps corresponding to the relevant national quality standards to assist hospitals and aged care providers to implement a more structured, consistent and sustainable approach to quality improvement. And we've been trialling Meerkat at a couple of Melbourne hospitals since earlier this year to determine whether the application is useful in addressing two factors that contribute to preventable patient harm in hospitals, namely the lack of engagement among frontline clinical staff with quality improvement activities and inconsistencies in the way protocols are implemented by staff, also known as protocol variants. The trials are ongoing, but have already generated very encouraging data about the feasibility and the benefits of the approach. For example, the trials have demonstrated that implementing Meerkat is very easy, doesn't require a lot of staff training, and is doable in any health service context. The tool is web-based and requires no special hardware or software to use. Staff in each unit meet once a week for about 30 or 40 minutes to conduct their Meerkat discussion sessions, usually during the afternoon handover period or whenever staffing overlap allows time for in-service or education activities. At this rate, it takes about a month for each unit to work through each standard. All they need is a meeting room, a computer with internet connection, and a data projector or smart screen so that everyone can follow the map that is guiding the discussion. The trials have also demonstrated several benefits of the Meerkat approach, specifically that staff like the approach, they learn while using the approach, and their interest and engagement in quality increases. We're actually not surprised about these results because the approach at the heart of Meerkat, which we call Map Enabled Experiential Review, or MIR, has already been used in a successful statewide Victorian quality improvement initiative to improve clinical learning environments for health professional learners. That tool, called BPCLE tool, is now used in all Victorian public health and registered community health services, as well as a growing number of private and not-for-profit organizations in the health and human services sectors. The MIR approach works because it taps into many of the same principles that make in situ simulation a useful tool for quality improvement, but using a format that is more adaptable and accessible and therefore less costly and resource intensive than simulation. First and most importantly, the use of Meerkat encourages reflective practice by the participating staff, both as individuals and collectively as a team. A no-blame approach to discussions encourages everyone to think about what they do in their routine practice and why they do it that way, and to honestly rate the collective performance and behaviours of the team. Importantly, the data suggests they carry this reflection out of the discussion session and onto the floor. Second, the sessions are educative. 
The note descriptions explain the importance of the various aspects of daily practice in achieving the objectives of the standard, and in many cases this serves to inform staff about things they either aren't aware of or have long since forgotten. Of course, when staff understand why they're meant to do things in a particular way, they're more likely to do it that way. And the conversations are not just educative, they're structured. If the nurse unit manager were to sit the team down for a discussion about processes related to, say, patient identification, where would they begin? And how would they ensure they discuss everything, not just the obvious things or the pet issues of individual team members? Fourthly, the Meerkat sessions help team members identify where their daily practice is deviating from the standard protocol and rectify their instances of protocol variance before a catastrophic outcome brings that variance to their attention. Fifth, the use of Meerkat allows the team to immediately translate the issues they identified during the assessment into tasks within a quality improvement action plan. Importantly, this helps them to see the quality improvement part of the process as directly related to their own daily practice, rather than as an abstract set of activities imposed on them by someone else. Related to this, the Meerkat sessions are very engaging for the participants and help them to develop a sense of ownership of both the diagnosis of issues and the resolution of those issues. Instead of seeing quality improvement as the business of the quality manager or the nurse unit manager, they start to see it as their own business. And finally, the Meerkat sessions help to build what's known as the collective competence of the team as they develop a shared understanding of the work practices they contribute to. As noted earlier in this presentation, every avoidable incident carries with it a significant cost. From a financial perspective, preventable patient harm costs hospitals millions of dollars each year. Take falls, for example. Based on recent Australian analyses on the prevalence and cost of falls, a 500-bed acute hospital might record something in the order of 800 falls per year at a total cost of about five and a quarter million dollars. If half of those incidents are preventable, that's $2.6 million in avoidable costs and that's just falls. And that's also just the financial cost. Each one of those incident reports is a person that has been harmed. Unfortunately, our current reactive approaches to quality mean that patient harm has to occur before action is finally taken. It was Einstein that reportedly commented on the folly of repeatedly trying the same solutions long after they've been demonstrated not to work. If we're serious about addressing preventable patient harm, then we need a rethink on the approaches we use to address quality and safety. Indicators, accreditation and governance arrangements are all important, but the safety and quality of patient care happens at the clinical front line, not in the boardroom. And so we also need tools that can affect real change at the hospital coalface. Meerkat has great potential to succeed where other approaches have not. So contact us if you'd like more information on how Meerkat can be rolled out in your hospital. We'd be very happy to talk with you about the logistics of using and getting the most from this exciting new approach to quality improvement in a clinical or aged care setting.